when we were making Golden Volcano, Srila Guru Maharaj, at first he kept saying, saying, uh, Golden Volcano, divine lava. And then he would say, is lava love? Like that. Huh? Is lava love? And then he would go on describing a little more. Golden volcano, divine lava. Is lava love? And so he asked me, he said, are there any connections between the word love and lava? So at the, this is pre-internet, pre-digital, when there were these things called libraries. You've probably read about them on Wikipedia. <laughs> and so, we, we live next to a, a major university with a pretty large library. So I went there and I thought, I'm going to consult what they call OED, the Oxford English Dictionary. It's huge, like each giant book volume for a letter, like A, B. So I thought, I'll look up love, because I couldn't find any connection with that and lava. So I find in the book L, love, and, and it's this book you read with a magnifying glass. The type is very small. Same going up and down the page. And at last it said, Sanskrit, from the Sanskrit, lobha, lubyati, which means desire, like more passionate desire. Like, we know if you associate with Americans for any particular length of time, you're likely to hear them say something like, I love pizza. Right? So I can say, is that love? Pizza love, is that love? Or we're back to lo hankering, mundane hankering, desire to consume something. When it's pizza, we can smile and laugh about it. When it's another person, it's not so funny if you're the one being consumed or devoured by somebody's lust or desire in the name of love, right? An attachment. They're so attached to this consuming tendency that Guru Maharaj says is identified in the pages of the Bhagavatam as hridrogam, right? heart disease. As he told that man, uh, you know, what, what is the root cause of suffering? What is this heart disease? This I want, thinking I, I, if I can acquire something and devour that, consume that. We're called consumers, right? All over the world, you know, consumer protection. We're consumers. If I can consume something, I'll find happiness and satisfaction and fulfillment. And it's really on the basis of remembering the very high sloka, Vikriditam Braja Buddhu Viritam Jivishnu, Sradhan Vito Anusranayad Artha Varnayedya, Bhakti Param Bhagavati Pratilabja Kamam, Pratilabja Kamam. So it's so extraordinary that in this practical dealing and situation that Guru Maharaj would recall this sloka from the Rasa Lila section, but use it in practical application by saying, when, and factoring in reincarnation, so he said, when I was in the body of an elephant, I ate a jungle and that hunger wasn't satisfied. And when I was in the body of a stool-eating pig, I ate a hill of stool and it was not satisfied. And interestingly, when Gromar has preached this man like that, the man started to cry because he was a little embarrassed by what he had said before that. Like, what is the benefit of establishing some place? Just talking about Krishna. Why don't we help people? And Guru Maharaj said, you will not help them that way. Only by repurposing attachment will you help them. Right? So the man started to cry. And then he said, Swamiji, I believe in God. 
And Guru Maharaj said, your eyes are the evidence of that. Hare Krishna.